A favourite science superhero nano girl has just kicked off her tour around Aotearoa and she stopped by this morning to give us a bit of a taste of what her show this year has in store. Kia ora, good morning. Kia ora Jack, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, we'll talk about this in a minute, but just yeah. give us some background on the show first of all. Where are you going? What are you doing? What's the plan? So again, we're doing our live science show around New Zealand. It's called Out of This World. It's all about getting to space, so building rockets and what it's like in space. Explosions as per usual, big messy experiments as per usual. And our whole goal is to get science out there there so that people who don't think they're into science think, oh, actually it's cool and I can do this too. Awesome. And I know like from personal experience that, that people my age would be into the experiments, but is there, are there, is there a certain age group that's most suited to the show? So we think? have some really loud explosions in the show. We say ages five and up, and if okay. they're sensitive to loud things, maybe bring them some little earplugs. Okay. But that's about it. But you, it's for all the family. We've had an 89-year-old leave the show oh, in really? Christchurch. I was like, I had the best time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, you've also got a pay it forward scheme, which we is do. a really good idea. So last year we started that. And that's because going to theatre is actually a real privilege and there are lots of families who just can't make the ends meet. So you can buy a ticket for people, um, especially children um, in our regions who wouldn't normally be able to go to a theatre. So last year we got uh, 1,200 kids who'd never been to theatre before to come oh. and see our shows and we're running that again this year. That is fantastic. Okay, tell us about this. What have we got here? So part of our rocket show is about the fuels you'll need to get to space. Mm -hmm. And one of those fuels is oxygen. And you can't get oxygen when you're in space, so you have to take it with you. Right. So we thought we'd teach you how to make oxygen. Oxygen if you have Making it, oxygen. If you wanted to go to space. Okay. So in here we have hydrogen peroxide, just a clear liquid. You may buy it in the chemist, for example, if you have a cut. It bubbles nicely. That bubbling is oxygen. So we're going to make oxygen happen in here. Now, do you want yours to be normal or coloured? Because we have some little colouring. Oh, can we do coloured? We that, can do colouring. Okay? So there's a little Thank bit of you. red colouring in here. Right. So I'll do mine plain so we can compare the difference. Next, we need to hold the oxygen. So we're going right. to hold it into bubbles. So it's just dishwashing liquid. We're going to put some dishwashing liquid in here. Do you want to give yours a swill around? Okay. Okay, I'm going to put my goggles on. You're all protected up with your lab coat and your gloves. So we're just swilling this around. All we yeah. have is H2O2. Okay. O2 being the oxygen part. Uh, okay. We're going to make the O2 come out faster with a catalyst. Now, a catalyst is just a chemical that makes things happen faster. Okay. So here's your catalyst. Right. What we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to... you ready for this? Yeah. We're going to pour it in as quick as we can when I say one, two, three, go. Yeah. And then we're just going to step back and we're going to watch oxygen be trapped in bubbles. Fantastic. Ready? Okay. And you call this elephant toothpaste? Elephant's toothpaste. Okay. We're doing the small one in the studio today because we're worried about the height of your Yeah. Toothpaste. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hey! Oh, that is so cool. So there is oxygen forming right in front of our eyes. It's an exothermic reaction. You can see that it's oh, hot. You can probably feel yeah, that it's hot. Yeah, yeah. And so oxygen bubbles. That's super hot. Yeah. That is being amazing. Created. So if you ever need to go to space... You want some oxygen. That's that is superb. It. Hey, tell me about your bilingual show as well. So in addition to our rocket show, Out of This World, we're also doing a regional show. It's called Mata Toa. It's all about discovery through science. Um, and so we're doing that starting in Gisborne, going up through Northland and then um, down through to the bottom of the North Island. And that is a show all about the science behind Māori myths and legends. Oh, it is so good. Thank you so much, Michelle. Wonderful to see you as always. Isn't that amazing? It's Feel amazing. Like That's oh, hot. Right.